Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have a major Ulta haul to share with you guys today. I went a little crazy the other weekend when Ulta dropped all of those new drugstore goodies like from Flower Beauty, Essence, Physicians Formula, Wet n Wild, Pacifica. I have a box full of affordable makeup that I cannot wait to share with you guys today. I'm going to take you guys over here to the other side of my filming room and we're going to do close-ups of everything that I got. I'll swatch some stuff out and I'm just excited. I'm always excited to try out and to discover new amazing affordable makeup. If it is your first time here on my channel, I want to say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph and clearly this is what I love to do. I love trying out new makeup. You're always going to see new makeup reviews. That is the primary content here on my channel. I also do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, which by the way, I did film this look that I have on. It is using the new Nomad Cosmetics Verona palette. This palette is absolutely amazing. You guys will see this look go up as a YouTube short or an Instagram reel. I also do makeup ranking videos here on my channel. We just talk about makeup. We have a great time while talking about the makeup. If that sounds like somewhere you want to be and something you want to see on pretty much a daily basis because I buy a lot and I film a lot, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button and hit the bell next to it. That way you'll be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you're a fan of drugstore makeup or you just want to see some of the new drugstore makeup that has come out recently, give this video a thumbs up before you go. I will have everything linked in the description box. Obviously, everything's going to be linked to Ulta. In case anything in this haul catches your eye, I'm going to have my affiliate links in the description box. And if you do end up shopping through them, I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Let's get through this massive Ulta haul, the ultimate Ulta haul. If you guys want to see everything I picked up, keep on watching. All right, guys. So first up, we're going to start with Essence. Now, Essence released a whole bunch of these pure nude baked blushes. I went with three different shades. So this one right here, this one is called Bold Heart. That looks really, really pretty. Let's go ahead and swatch this out. It looks like it's a matte. Let's see. Yeah, maybe... Maybe more of like a natural finish. What do you guys think? I think that looks beautiful though. What a beautiful color, year round color, but I think especially for spring and summer. All right, this one was called Bold Heart. Let's go into this pink one. You guys know I had to pick up a pink blush. I am loving pink blush right now. Now this one, I can see some shimmer. This one, I, let's see, this one is called cool coral i think you're gonna be able to notice the shimmer too yeah i think you guys can see that tell me you guys can see the shimmer shimmer versus i think more natural matte finish this is so pretty this is kind of maybe similar to the nars blush what do you guys think all right next pretty peach see what this one this one also looks like it has that shimmer finish to it oh yeah oh nice these are all going to be nice layered like since this one is more of the matte and these two have more of that glowy finish i don't see any glitter in here it's just like a a glow oh that's going to be pretty i can't wait to try that on all right, also from Essence, I got this Poreless Partner Primer, mattifying and blurring with niacinamide, won't clog pores. You guys know how I feel about the Essence uh, Glow Serum Primer. That is one of my favorite primers, and wow, this consistency looks very similar to that one, except this one is going to be a matte finish. Oh, I think I'm going to be able to pair both of them together. I can do this one in my T-zone and then that glow serum primer, which is like a dupe for the um, glow recipe, watermelon niacinamide dew drops. That primer is awesome. Both of them, glow recipe and essence. But if you don't have like the 40 bucks to spend on glow recipe, get the one I'm talking about from essence. And if you're on the oily side of skin types, maybe pick this one up too. 
That way you can mix and match them. I can already see how that's drying down matte there. Awesome, I look forward to using this in the future. And I'm definitely going to pair it with my other favorite essence primer. Now, I also got one of their new Hydra Matte Lipsticks. I like the packaging. I love this color. Really pretty. Um, the color, the shade that I got is shade 403 Peach It. Let's watch it back here. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's going to pair nicely with the blushes gonna take this sticker off. I love the packaging on this. Such a pretty color. Now you guys know I love a good Essence mascara. Essence makes such amazing affordable mascaras at the drugstore. Five bucks for mascara that works. This is their new one, Lash Like a Boss. Instant volume and length. I want to say they had this in a waterproof version. I don't like waterproof mascara. I really don't buy it, although you're going to see one waterproof mascara in today's haul, and it's from Wet n Wild, but um, I stay clear of, of uh, waterproof mascara when I can. But I like the wand on this. I like that it has like the curve. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be pretty good. I trust Essence mascaras. Rarely have I ever been disappointed, and I cannot wait to try this one out. And last but not least from Essence, they dropped a few new eyeshadow palettes. I went with this one. This one is the Blooming Wings palette. And let me take off the little plastic. So here is what that beautiful color story looks like. Let's swatch out. Let me just swatch out the whole palette. Why not? That is the top row swatched. Let's move on to the second row. These are swatching nice. But how they swatch on the arm doesn't really matter because it's how they're going to perform on the lid. That one felt kind of dry. I think these shades are really pretty though. Nice springtime palette. Ooh, look at that orange. Uh oh, what happened here? There it is. Okay, so this is the first two rows. Loving the oranges in here. Really nice. Okay, let's go to this bottom row. Ooh, that's a nice shade. Oh, I got too much. There we go. Mm, that one is not swatching that great. All right, so here is that palette swatched. I don't know if I can get them all in frame. There we go. The butterfly palette, I guess that's what we'll call it. Awesome. I can't wait to try this out. I'm going to do like a full face of trying new essence makeup video. So definitely stay tuned for that. All right, now we're going to talk about Pacifica. I cannot wait to wear test all of these goodies out. Let's see. What did I get? Guys, I forget. I placed this is like one of the biggest Ulta orders I think I've ever placed in my life. They just Ulta dropped so many new drugstore goodies that I wanted to try them out for you guys. Let's start first with this primer. Ooh, glass bottle. Nice. Okay, this is the Matte Greens Skin Solve Prime Blur and Mattify Primer. Let me give it a good shake. Open it. There it is. Ooh, that's also maybe a little color correcting. Let me see. Yeah, there's like an organic scent to this. But not bad. I'm sure it's something that'll go away pretty quick. Nice. All right, so next up are these concealers, and I got two different shades. I got shade 9 and shade 11. This is their Dream Lit Glow Conceal Concealer brighten and lifting effect okay let's swatch out shade 
nine first. I used to have a Pacifica concealer and foundation. Oh, this is glass. Wow, nice packaging, Pacifica. Really pretty. Look at that ombre effect. Okay, this is nice. This is good. Open this up. Okay, so this is going to be shade nine. I'm just going to put it on top of the primer. Ooh, that might be a little too dark for me. Uh oh. Okay. Thank goodness I got another shade. Shade 11 is supposed to be lighter. It's kind of hard to tell online. Like sometimes it is. I'm just loving this packaging. The only other glass concealer tube I have is from Dior. So a luxury and drugstore right here. Oh yeah, this is my shade, shade 11. I'll probably have to reserve this one for the summertime, maybe, unless I exchange it for something else. But shade nine and shade 11, small little doe foot applicator. Okay, I cannot wait to wear test this concealer. First impression looks really, really good. I got a setting spray, the Glow Baby Brightening Setting Mist. I got it because it has SPF 45. And now that we're heading into spring, I'll definitely be doing or spending some more time outdoors. It says invisible lightweight application for protection with hydration and a glowy finish. Vitamin C, C minerals, glass bottle. Wow. Okay. I'm loving this Pacifica. Very nice attention to detail when it comes to the packaging. And there's a little ball in there. That's good. Actually, there's three of them in there. Um, that's good because when it has SPF, you want to make sure you get everything mixed up perfectly. So you're just always going to want to shake this. And then we're going to spray. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's a fine mist. Let me see. Yeah, there's a scent to it. Kind of like an SPF and maybe a little citrus scent mixed into one. Nice glass bottle though, 1.7 fluid ounces of product. I think all of these Pacifica products were definitely, I think they were less than $20. The last thing I picked up is, oh, okay. So this is a tinted sunscreen. And this is not like a foundation type of product. That's not how I'm gonna treat it. I'm gonna treat it just as, I'm not wearing makeup that day. I'm just putting this on as my SPF and it's gonna provide a hint of a tint. Um, this one does have SPF 30 and it is a mineral sunscreen. It says 100% mineral SPF serum protection and hydration, lightweight for seamless blending and a dewy finish. Tinted with specialized mineral pigments that instantly adjust to help eliminate a white cast. 100% of vegan, all of that good stuff. Let's open this up. Now, I've tried and I've wear tested the Kind Tint, which is like a skin tint, which is intended to be kind of like a foundation type of product. That did not sit well on me at all. It was just like pretty much non-existent. Didn't like that at all, so I'm taking a chance trying this, but since I'm not going to treat it as a foundation product, I think I'm going to enjoy this one better. Again, glass packaging. Let me give it a shake. Turn it to open it. I think there was only one shade in this. Uh, I think it's just something that's going to adapt to your skin tone. Keep in mind, I'm applying this over the setting spray and all that stuff. So yeah, yeah, it's blending in. There is a little bit of a scent to this one as well. It's more like an SPF scent. Okay, not bad. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited for these new Pacifica goodies. I will be doing a wear test with the concealer. And so I'll definitely wear the rest of these products um, when I make that video. I think I'm going to start on this tomorrow, possibly. Really excited for these new Pacifica goodies. I don't have a lot of this brand in my stash. So I'm always happy to welcome brands that I especially don't have and that are affordable.
Okay, so next up is Flower Beauty. You guys have seen me try most of these already because I did a dedicated trying new Flower Beauty products and I was sure to wear test, do a little mini wear test over the new concealer. This is their new Get Real Serum Concealer. I picked up two different shades, Ivory and Fair. And in that video, I wore these as foundation and just spoiler alert, fantastic like i love this uh, this concealer better than i love their original i think it would see light illusion concealer that's a good full coverage concealer but i thought that this just wore better for longer on my normal to oily skin really nice concealer from flower beauty i think this came in like 12 different shades um you'll have to check on the ulta beauty website i picked up a different shade in the spotlight liquid highlighter because originally I had bought I think the darkest shade at my local CVS and so I got the lightest shade this one is shade opal and I, you know what let me swatch I know you guys have seen it already but some of you might not have so this is a shade opal and then let me go ahead and swatch out the concealers I'm going to start with ivory ivory is going to be my shade for like under eye brightening and then over here shade fair this is more of like an all over like a spot concealer as well really nice shades these were great shades on me and my fair to light um, complexion also in that video i did use the skin smoothie radiant glow primer this has been pretty good i like this i like this primer quite a bit and that's what it looks like there you can see it has like a little slight pinkish tint to it and it definitely provides a beautiful glow no glitter or anything like that just a nice healthy glow to the complexion you don't even need to wear foundation over this if you don't want to if you just want that glow going on this is a nice one they had two other primers they had a hydrating primer and they had a mattifying primer i didn't get the mattifying one because i was already buying um, a couple of mattifying primers with the other brands and then what i forgot to try in that full face of flower beauty was the new mascara i used my other my warrior princess mascara and i forgot i didn't see this in the box this is their new dream warrior volumizing mascara here you can see the claims on the side let's open this up i'm really excited for this one um flower beauty has two other mascaras that i like i think they're pretty good um but i only have i decluttered one of them already and so now i only have the one that's in the pink tube and i believe that one's called warrior princess i like this lavender tube dream warrior let's open this up oh yeah that's good not too big not as big as the essence a wand this is nice let's see if it has a scent nah no scent like a mascara scent okay i i love a good volumizing and lash separating mascara those are the main things that i look for just because i do have length since i've been a revital lash user for like five years now um but i really want volume i want that fullness to my lashes and i think this looks really promising all right guys so next up are these other three products each from a different brand i've been telling you guys i was going to get a new shade in the new revlon illuminant skin caring foundation the shade i decided to go with is shade 117 so i'm hoping that this is going to be my correct shade because this is a beautiful foundation i already have a review and wear test over this one the shade i got i think was 201 and I don't know what I was thinking. It was just too dark, but I think that shade will be a good shade for the uh, the summertime. And yeah, I think I can make this one work for the rest of the time. I think it's gonna blend in really nice. I think maybe this is a little a little leaning on the yellow side. But I think I can, I think I can work with it. I think I can make it work. Next, I picked up the powder from CoverGirl. This is the Clean Invisible Powder. This is the reformulated OG uh, CoverGirl powder, a loose powder, no talc, fragrance-free. Um, this is in their new uh, cruelty-free um, formula. So I definitely wanted to pick this up because I was a big fan of the original. It's just a regular translucent powder. Um, actually, well, it says translucent fair. One so I think there's like three different shades in this one of course I went with the lightest one and then I picked up this new one from Physicians Formula this is their new Butter Glow 
pressed powder. It says translucent glow, mudu mudu butter pressed powder, radiance boosting glow. Let's open this up because this was something that um, I was gonna order from the Physicians Formula website when they dropped all of those new products. But for some reason, certain things, certain shades weren't in stock or they didn't release when the rest of the products released. So that's why I never ordered. Um, but yeah, this was definitely something I wanted to try out. Let's watch this, let's see. This is definitely going to be a finishing powder, or will it be more of a, actually, I think it might be more of a highlighter. Oh my goodness. Um, wow. Okay, this is definitely going to be a very glowy finishing powder. I don't think I would use this to set my under eye area, nor would I use this in my T-zone because my T-zone glows naturally all on its own, but I can definitely see this on the cheekbones. I can definitely see maybe a little bit on the chin, a little bit on the forehead. Okay, I'm going to have to play around with this, but it sounded interesting. It sounded like something I might enjoy. So yeah, I'll definitely be using this in an upcoming video. All right, so next up is a pretty big Wet n Wild haul. I got their new little makeup sponge. Um, this is Scene Green Makeup Sponge. I love Wet n Wild makeup sponges. I have so many of them. I buy them and then Wet n Wild sometimes will send me PR. So um, you know, usually when they do those box collections, they include makeup sponges. So I just have so many, but I love this mint green. And yeah, this feels identical to the pink sponges. I bought it because I love the color. And of course, you know, because I wanted to try it out. It was something new from the brand. And um, yeah, you're going to see me bouncing away with this one pretty soon. Does it have anything special? Uh, Seeing green makeup sponge blends makeup to seamless perfection and works with liquid cream powder okay all right yeah i like it nice color always a good deal with these wet n wild makeup sponges they're like four or five dollars okay so you guys know how i feel about the wet n wild breakup proof liquid liner this is the skinny sister to the wet n wild breakup proof liquid liner which i didn't think it could get any skinnier than what it was already but here it is. Um, I live for these liners. I've gone through, I don't know how many. This is my favorite black eyeliner, pen style eyeliner. It just works every single time. There's what the tip looks like. Oh yeah, that's a very fine tip. All right, you guys are gonna see me reaching for my now skinny, wet n wild breakup proof liquid liner i gotta finish up what i have i'm still working on the uh the breakup proof liner that was in the peanuts uh christmas collection so once i get done with that then i will start using that one this is a new powder five in one essence primer and finishing powder primer and finishing powder hmm, how does that work up to 16 hours. I think this was the only shade. It does have mica in it. Silica, zinc. Okay, let's open this up, right? So there's what the powder looks like. I'm not understanding how this is going to be a primer though. Um, maybe a primer for powder foundation. I have no idea. Well, that doesn't really make sense, but Definitely as a setting powder, I think I might enjoy this. I enjoy the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder. So I'm looking forward to trying this one out. Um, I got this, okay, this is a primer, 5-in-1 Essence Primer Liquid. Why does that, hmm, okay. 5-in-1 Essence Primer Liquid. See, it has like the same like little instructions or like what it does here at the bottom, smooths, conditions, refines pores, balances, prolongs makeup. Okay, let me shake this a little bit. What do we have here? Put it on this side. So it's kind of just like, okay. Yeah, it feels like an essence. It feels nice actually, really hydrating. 
you see there's not a scent to it i think what i'm smelling is still the spf that i had on my hand from the uh, pacifica swatch but you can see that like melts into the skin really fast let me see what does it say back here um how to use shake well apply evenly to face and allow one minute to set before applying makeup all right well i'm going to be doing a full face of trying new wet and wild makeup so you're going to see me using all of these products right here i bought these two liquid shadows now I'm not the biggest fan of liquid shadows. I got a matte and I got a shimmer. This is their shadow silk liquid shadow. So the matte shade that I picked up, mauve over pink. Let's open this up. So it has a little doe foot applicator and I'm gonna just put it over the essence. That is the matte liquid shadow. And then let's open up the shimmer one. This one is called Lunar Beige. Ooh, that's pretty. So I got them to hopefully pair with one another. Um, if I need to bring in a powder palette, I will. I have so many from Wet n Wild. But yeah, I wanted to try these out. I bought these shades on purpose because I thought that they would pair nicely with one another and i think they will i think that we're going to be able to create a look with those um i got this this was also new lock and shine lip color and gloss so this kind of reminds me of the ones from nyx i forget the official name on it but it had the color the pigment on one end the gloss on the other but these are a lot cheaper i think this was like no more than seven dollars what shade did I get before we swatch it out? I got shade um, Lotus Petal right here. Shade Lotus Petal. I think it's going to match the eyeshadow. Wow. That's like really close to the eyeshadow shade. So this is, I think, going to be a matte. And then obviously this is the glossy side. It's just a clear gloss. Okay, so we're going to try those out. We'll see we'll see what happens. I'll see how it wears. Maybe I'll wear test it tomorrow. That way I, I can at least give you guys an update whenever I sit down to film this video. Um, I got this. This is their new Pampered from their new Pampered collection. Vitamin E Makeup Stick. And the shade that I have um, is Good To Be Me. Okay, so let's swatch this right here. Ooh, that looks like a pretty shade. I'm just saying that about everything, aren't I? But that does look like a pretty shade. It's a little bit of glow to it too. Now I picked up this new brow product, Brow Maximizer Powder and Gel Duo. So I'm not one that uses uh, brow gel all that often and I got shade uh, Neutral Brown. Um, I don't have a lot of brow hair and so I just, I don't know, I, I feel like the two brow products that I use on a daily basis are enough. I use a pencil and I use a brow marker. All right, so here's what the component looks like. Here is the gel side and let's look at the powder side first. Okay, let's see. Oh no, oh no, I got powder all right here. I hope it didn't all come out. Man. Okay, let's see. This is weird. Oh, I don't know that I'm going to like this. But we'll try it. I think the shade's going to be good, but... Yeah, what are the powders spilled out? Okay, you're going to have to be really careful when you open the powder side. Let's look at the brow gel side. Uh, looks like it's just going to be a clear. Is it? Yeah, it's just a clear. Maybe a slight tint to it. Yeah, a very slight tint to it. Mm, I don't know that this product is going to be for me, but we'll try it. We'll try it in that video. The last thing I picked up here is the waterproof mascara that I was talking to you guys about earlier. Um, this is supposed to be or continue in the breakup proof line. Um, this is the only mascara that they have in the breakup proof line. And of course, they had to do it in waterproof because uh, all of the eyeliners are waterproof. It is made with castor oil. 
It says it's going to volume and length for up to 24 hours, and I got shade Ultra Black. Let's open it up. All right, so there's the packaging. This is the typical breakup proof packaging, the broken heart there. And then we open it up. Now, I'm going to be honest, Wet n Wild doesn't make my favorite drugstore mascaras. I think there's only like one or two Wet n Wild mascaras that have worked well for me. One of them is the one that came in the Care Bears collection. And then the other one is the, I think the one in the Save by the Bell collection. But for sure, the Care Bears mascara, that was a good one, at least in my opinion. Um, I'm going to give this a shot. I even though I don't like waterproof mascara, but I do like the wet and wild breakup proof line. So I do have high expectations for it, as do I have high expectations for all of these new wet and wild products. So definitely stay tuned when I do my full face of trying wet and wild makeup out. And I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. So I really scrubbed away with my makeup wipe here. You can see the lip gloss, not the lip gloss, but that lip color still didn't come off and here's the wet n wild breakup proof liquid liner it's still on this stuff is fantastic these liners breakup proof liners are amazing this new lip product looks like it's going to be really promising as well all right and last but not least we have la girl now look what they did i ordered three of these eyeshadow palettes and i want to say there were like six different palettes released these are the three that i went with and they included an extra one uh, the extra one they included is called juicy so juicy one of y'all is going to get this in my upcoming giveaway which if i haven't announced the giveaway yet it's coming up really, really soon, probably in the video that you see after this one goes up. So definitely stay tuned for that. But this will be in that giveaway as well. So thank you, Ulta, for the freebie. So here is Juicy. Let's go ahead and swatch this palette. These are going to be two mattes and two shimmers. At least the three palettes that I got, that's the configuration. This looks like it's going to be more of a topper shade. Oh yeah, this one has more pigment. Oh, definitely more pigment. Yeah, so this is going to be more of a topper, more of a, a really pretty shimmer over here, the darker gold, and then those two mattes. I like these two matte shades. I think they're really pretty. Okay, so here's Juicy Swatched. Next, we have this palette right here. And I want to say I like the packaging. I like the clear with these little like hexagon shapes. I think those are hexagons, right? This one is the Seduce palette. Wow, that's a good block. Really nice. Ooh, nice, very smooth gold. Oh, this is very smooth also. Nice, this palette, I think swatch better than Juicy. Those are some beautiful neutral tones there. Last but not least is the green palette. You guys know I had to get the green one. This one is called Cowgirl. This is going to be more of like a topper shade that was in the Juicy palette, except this has a little bit of a green to it, which I love. And that's a nice one. All right. Cowgirl swatched. All right, so I think these three little palettes seem pretty promising. I mean, just from the swatches, I think they're going to be all right. I think these were like five bucks too, so... I think that was, I think it's a pretty good deal for them. All right, so next up, we're gonna swatch these new eyeliners. These are their new um, Stellar Ink Foiled Liners, and I got all six shades that they released. Let's start with this one. Let's see, the shade on this one is, this one is called Sunbeam, right here. It's kind of hard to see with these lights, but I'm gonna swatch it right there. Ooh, that's pretty. 
Okay, and there you can see it is a, it's a felt tip, not a brush tip, unfortunately. So put that one over here. This one is um, Interstellar. Ooh, that's a nice silver. This next one, this one is Orbit. This next one, this one is called Stardust. Ooh, this one's pretty. I'm very excited for this blue. The blue one is called Galaxy. Ooh, that's a pretty blue. I don't have a liner this color. I have darker blue liners. Beautiful. And last but not least, this gold one, this one is called Shooting Star. Okay, so here are the new Stellar Foiled Liquid Liners. Really nice shades. Oh, I'm going to have a lot of fun mixing these with my uh, beloved Neon Shockwave Liners from LA Girl. And the last thing in this haul, last thing from LA Girl as well, is this Lift Off Mascara. Instant Lifting Mascara, Definition, Clump Free, and Smudge Resistant. I don't know that I've ever tried an LA Girl mascara. This is my, this might be one of the one things that I've never had from LA Girl in my stash. I think the packaging is cute. I love stars. Let's see what the wand is going to look like. Oh, it's different. Look at that. I love that the mascaras that I bought in this haul are all different. We got a waterproof and we got some different shaped wands going on. It's like fatter up here and then thinner at the bottom. Let's see if it has a scent. Yeah, it just smells like mascara does. Okay, cool. I am excited about my new LA Girl goodies. Expect a full face of trying new LA Girl makeup very soon on my channel. Okay, guys, so that wraps up today's video. My ultimate Ulta haul. I got so many amazing goodies. I cannot wait to try them out for you guys. Let me know if you've already picked up any of the things uh, in my recent haul, or maybe you've had your eye on some of them already. What caught your eye? Leave it in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is y'all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. Very important. I'll see y'all very soon. Bye.